Hi Stitchers, how are you? Um, it's been a little while since I've recorded and funnily enough this has been about the third or fourth time I've tried to record this so we'll see how we go. Um, a few reasons why I haven't recorded for quite a while. Um, the first one being that I, I really lost the urge to stitch for quite a while. Um, no particular reason why, I just didn't feel like stitching and then of course there was no um, progress or anything to show you. Um, so there wasn't any need to, to record a video. Um, and then by the time I felt like I wanted to stitch, we were in the process of um, packing up our house and getting ready to move, which in itself has been a long process. Um, but as you can see, I'm somewhere else now. So um, we've made the move. We've had a little while to, to unpack um, some things at least. Um, and I've got my stash pack, which is good. Um, so yeah, okay, we'll let you know what I've been getting on with. Um, last time I did a video I was working on a um, wedding sampler, um, the Apache Marriage Blessing from Jan Lin. Um, and I got it finished. Um, let's see, I'll bring it up a bit closer. Um, yeah, so I really like how this one's turned out. Um, there were a few things, obviously I mentioned in my last video that there was a mistake in it, um, which stayed, I'm not changing that, um, but also at the end of each sentence there was supposed to be a French knot, um, which I decided it didn't need. Um, not that I don't like doing them. Um, oh, camera's over here. Of course it is. Um, <laughs> It'll take a while to get used to again and stopping saying um. Uh, so, yeah, that was the only French knots that were in it. So I, f uh, I felt like I needed to not worry about it. Um, and because each sentence is in a different colour, um, I figured it was all good. I'm going to stop moving this around so much. I'll scan it up a little bit um, so you can see the detail. So there we go, that's that one done, um, and yeah, eventually we'll get around to, to finding somewhere um, to pop that. At the moment, where we are um, isn't going to be our, our permanent home, so we're not getting too much framed and whatnot at the moment. Um, we're looking at next year, um, we're going to be, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, building a house. So. Um, yeah, at the moment we're only renting, so I don't want to be putting hooks up here, there and everywhere for, for framed things. So at the moment it's just being stored on a cardboard tube, rolled up so it's nice and flat and safe. Okay, the next thing um, I did was a secret stitch. Um, it's not actually being given until this weekend, but by the time I get this recorded and then uploaded, um, I won't be uploading until early in the week, because um, we're away for the weekend. So, um, yeah, it will be given by the time this one goes up. Um, but this one is an Alessandra Adelaide design called T. Um, and it's actually for my sister-in-law for her 40th. I know sometimes she watches these, so um, that's another reason for not putting it in. But I'm really happy with how the matting came out. Um, and yeah, it actually surprised me at how big this piece turned out to be. I wasn't expecting it to be quite such a size. Um, but I had a good run with this. Um, I ended up, during the time that I was stitching this. Um, I had a, a fall at work um, so I ended up being off, being signed off for about a week and I couldn't do much else so, excuse me, I did the the majority of the, the cup um, while I was actually recuperating so that worked out really well um, 
about one of the only times that I've actually done a stitching for somebody and have been on time or been well prepared. So, um, yeah, really pleased with this and I'm looking forward to seeing how she likes it um, actually tomorrow um, because, yeah, her favourite colour is green um, and she loves her tea, so I figured this was fitting. I've actually got some of the other Alessandra Adelaide designs, um, which now that I've done this first one, I think I will be more looking forward to, to doing. The, they're really great designs and, and not huge amounts of colours. I mean, you can see there's only two colours, the dark green and the lighter green in this. Um, and even though it looks sort of a different colour, this green up here um, for the steam is the same as the, the light green in the pattern. Um, so it was just stitched on um, 27 count cream even weave, um, which I just picked up from the local craft shop. Um, so yeah, nothing fancy with that, but really pleased with how that one's turning out. And I keep looking over the other side because right there, there's a big red button. Um, I don't normally use the um, capture thing. I usually just use the, the video bit on my iPad, but I've changed today. Um, and I keep getting distracted by that big red button. Oh, okay. Um, so the next... Um, the next one I'm actually doing at the moment, it's another secret stitch, um, but it's for my mum. Um, and she doesn't know that I do these videos. So the likelihood of her actually finding it and watching it is very slim. But if you have, mum, stop watching. Okay. Right, done that. Uh, we might need to get something to go behind this. Um, so when my mum first started stitching, um, a fair few years ago now, I actually taught her to stitch. Um, We'd gone to the local craft shop um, to pick me up some another stitching and while we were there she was looking and she found a design that she liked and fell in love with and she decided that she wanted to learn how. Um, she wouldn't be talked out of it um, and the design that she chose was this one um, which was an eagle in flight or eagle's flight I think it was called um, by Stitch World. And this thing was a nightmare for her. Um, she persevered with it and it took her a while, but she, she did get it done. Um, and next year is a big birthday for her. So I wanted to stitch her something. And I had come across this pattern a lot of years ago and kept hold of it. And I thought, it'll come in handy one day. I'll do that one day. One day, one day. Well, one day's come, um, because this is actually the companion piece to the one that my mum did for her very first stitching. So I thought that would go really well up on the wall, um, side by side. So I got some of the same fabric that mum used that came in the kit for this one, which was just 14 count pewter Ada. Um, and I've made a start. The biggest thing for me to have to worry about is my eight-year-old daughter because we talk to my mum on Skype every week and my daughter knows that I'm doing this. She nearly let the cat out of the bag the other week. Um, thankfully, I think we avoided that, but um, yeah, we're going over for, for the big birthday next year um, because I'm, obviously I, I'm sure you can tell by my accent that I'm living in Australia, um, but mum and dad are back home in England so um, we're making the big trip over next year for, for mum's birthday and I want to take this over with us um, but I've got plenty of time because we're not heading off till about April so this is how far I've got so far um, really pleased with the progress and, and how brightly it's coming out um, but all of these trees here um, a full stitch um, and then when you get to about here um, they go over into half stitch obviously to to give the illusion um, of distance um, so pretty much the rest that's left over this side 
um, is half stitch on the trees. Um, if I just grab the picture again. Um, so all of these are half stitch. Um, the bits in the water that are here are half stitch. This is all full stitch in here, um, but that, that won't take too long. Um, and the branches are full stitch. Um, so yeah, hopefully it should it should come along great guns. Um, I think I only started this August beginning of August. I should probably look that up and I'll let you know next time um, because I am planning on, on doing these more regularly now. Um, now that we're, we're settled and I've got my stitchy bag back. It seems to be hanging around at the moment. <sighs> so yeah, what else can I tell you? Um, I actually want to give a, a bit of a shout out to Schoolhouse Stitcher um, and say thank you um, because she's only just started doing videos but one of the things that she said at the beginning of her first video which has only, has only been in the last couple of months um, but I only caught her last week I think um, and she said she'd been intending on doing these videos for, probably for about the last 12 months and there's always been a reason as to why she hasn't done it, or, or as she's an excuse as to why she hasn't done it. The light's not good, the weather's not good, my hair's not good, I haven't got this organised, I haven't got that organised. Um, and it really resonated with me and I think it was just a case of take the bull by the horns and sit down and do it. Um, because you guys are absolutely amazing with your support um, and your advice and, and how welcoming you are for everybody. Um, and on that note, I really want to say thank you to the 240-ish or 260-ish subscribers that have hung around while I've been absent. Um, I guess in the hope that there might be another one coming. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really thankful that there are some of you that have, have hung around. Um, and the community is just going from strength to strength. There's so many new floss tubers that I see all the time now and I'm <laughs> really struggling to to keep up with videos um, obviously there's there's some that I'm more up to date with than others and I, I really I'd like to to start at the beginning of somebody's journey um, when they've started doing the floss tube and then work up to to the most recent and I I have a little cheer sometimes when I oh that's sad <laughs> when I get to being up to date with somebody but then it's it's also well, now I've got to wait for the next one and I, I don't like to wait so um but yeah like I said always always finding new people um and some of the stuff that that you guys stitch is absolutely amazing um it's yeah it just makes me want to sit and stitch even more and so many new designs that, that are like oh I like that I should get that I should add that to my, my stash. And then I think about how much I've got to do. I've got a lot of choices. Maybe when I'm set up properly, um, I might go through some of my stash. Um, we'll see. I, I know that I do need to work out what I'm likely to be doing and what I'm not likely to stitch. I could probably let go to somebody who... who will stitch um, so we'll, we'll see how I go with that um, next time I'm probably intending on also doing um, at least the know you'll need a worker tag because um, like I said I feel like I'm starting again um, with having such a big gap um, between videos um, so I may as well treat myself as a new new floss tuber um, and start from the beginning um, so yeah, um, next time there will be definitely progress on the eagle. Um, and I think at the moment, be because that is one that I've got a time limit, well, sorry, not time limit, um, but I've got a date in mind where I need to get it done by it. And I know that I have plenty of time between now and April, but I'd rather 
get it done, get it finished, and then I can move on to something else. So I've got a few things that I've already started um, that I'll be looking forward to getting back to, particularly since, excuse me, since the the colours, um, I've got brown, I've got grey, I've got white, and I've got blue. That's pretty much it in that design, um, various shades of. So I'm, I'm looking forward to, to doing something that's got a few brighter colours in too. Um, but yeah, hopefully that shouldn't be too far off, like I said, with the the half stitches in there, they'll, they'll go a lot quicker. Um, and I've got some of these too, which I really want to let people know about. Um, it's a So Much To Love bag. Um, these are the project bags from the um, Bag of the Month Club. So I signed up for 12 months. Um, so every month I get a new bag come through. Um, and I signed up to get the little sidekick too. So um, in these, I'm holding all my threads, which there you go. You can have a look at the colour palette. Lovely brown and blues. Yep. Um, <laughs> so these are really well made and Karen who makes them does all of these little hearts by hand. Hmm. I'm not sure how many people she's got with the Bag of the Month Club, but I know it's a substantial amount. Um, and they're all lined. Um, really nice, really well made. Um, and with the Bag of the Month Club, you get little goodies in um, each month as well. Um, so one of them, I've got scissors with a little um, protective bit. Um, which really, really helps. I love those scissors. Um, so yeah, I really recommend go go check her out. So much to love. I'll see if I can add it in down there. Um, the other person that I would recommend checking out, um, a really good friend of mine, uh, Belinda. She has started to make floss tube videos, and she's also one of the reasons why I've got back on to doing this because she's. I, I suggested to her while I was doing them previously, you know, it's, it's pretty good. The, the people out there are really nice, really supportive. You've got, you know, you've got some fantastic products. You should have a go. And she was umming and ahhing and deliberating. And, and then she decided to take the plunge one day. And since she's done that, she's suggested that I should get back on and do them. Um, but yeah, she's got some really fantastic videos, only a few at the moment, um, because she's only recently started. Um, she's got some fantastic projects that she's doing, and the fabric that she's choosing is amazing. Um, so go and check her out. She's an itch to cross stitch. Um, again, I'll see if I can put the information down there, um, see if I can work that out. Okay. So this has gotten a bit easier as I've gone through. I'm feeling a little bit calmer now. Mm. Which makes it more likely that I'm going to come back. Okay. Um, so what are we now? We're the beginning of September. Or back, what are we? 8th of September today. It'll be probably the 11th-ish by the time this gets uploaded. Um... So I'm not sure whether I'll be back in a couple of weeks or whether it will be a month. Um, I might say we'll, we'll do one in a month um, and see where I'm at. And then if I feel the need to do one earlier, I will do I might actually do the tag one earlier um, and see how we go with that one. Um, so yeah, that's it. All done. Oh, a few other people that I'm watching. Essex Stitcher, really good. Um, love watching her videos. Um, another shout out, Laura X Stitches. She's another Aussie. Um, does some, some really good stuff. Um, I think that's it off the top of my head. I should probably write it down for next time. Um, but yeah, I'd like to sort of make a mention of other floss tubers when I can um, that I really enjoy watching because then that means that somebody else might enjoy watching them too okay right 
that's it. I will go and clean all this mess up and see you next time. Okay, happy stitching. Bye.